In front of a room of staff, students, and community members, Minsk U Chancellor Devinder Mahatra introduced the new president of Alexandria Technical and Community College. Michael Seymour received a warm welcome, but that's something that began right off the bat in those first interviews. It's something that many people noted, including Michael himself. There was a rapport, I think, right off the bat when I got to campus on my day of uh, vetting. And uh, I think that is that the sincerity between the campus and how it views itself in the way of serving its role in the community and serving students is very aligned with the way I've approached my work in the last 30 years. So we hit it off right away. And um, so in the end, they uh, supported me as a candidate. And um, and now that I've been appointed to the role, I, I've got to make sure that I, I work really hard to, um, uh, to fulfill their confidence in me and uh, to continue the legacy that's uh, here. I, I feel wonderful, and I think uh, the, even the crowd today, you kind of felt a feeling of, uh, of happiness in the crowd that uh, I think everybody feels really comfortable with, uh, with Mr. Seymour, and I think what we know of him, I think he's going to do a great job. From conversation with Michael through the, uh, we had a student luncheon with, with the presidential candidates. I only made it to Michael's, but I sat through the open forum sessions. And, and out of the three candidates, Michael, Michael was very strong in you know, connecting with students. He didn't just talk circles around you. It was, it was really neat because he came in and he started telling us a story, told us about his history, and told us about how he was struggling when he first went to college. And he, he, he just brought us in. It was kind of cool because we immediately could have kind of attached to his uh, personality and his goals and how he really represents us and, um, and represents the student and can really, uh, very emotional. It was, it was kind of interesting because we were almost immediately starting to uh, picture him as our president, even after just meeting him that first time. So he's, he's a really great storyteller. Seymour has worked in education for more than 30 years. His current role is Vice President of Academic and Student Affairs at Lake Superior College. He feels the timing is right for him and the students he'll serve. A baseball analogy, I guess you can say I've touched, I touched all the bases now. So I started as a faculty member, then I was a, 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 a mid-level and a high-level administrator serving as both a finance officer and a chief academic officer. So at this point in my career, it just uh, it was time, and as the chancellor said, uh, he believes I'm ready, and so uh, being a president uh, was the next uh, step for me. But it, it's not just about being a president for being a president's sake. It's about finding the right fit where you can really truly make a difference, and I think I found that here at Alexandria Technical and Community College. One of the most noted attributes Seymour brings to the table is his relatability. Through stories, he conveys a strong sense of empathy for the student experience. In some of the feedback, it was, uh, you know, he's a storyteller, uh, which here is appreciated. I think people like to, to uh, see you as a real person with a history and, and uh, uh, a story to tell. And my story is one that re resembles many of our students, is that no one in my family ever went to college. And so I was left to navigate that on my own, uh, uh, both uh, from a logistic standpoint, but also financially. And so I can uh, relate to some of those uh, potential barriers that uh, students face when they come to us. And so I told the story about uh, not having $20 for my application and having to ask my friend's father for a little side job so that I could earn the money to, to send uh, to apply for college, and um, once in, uh, I registered for classes and failed to um, pay my bill on time because financial aid wasn't processed because I had no one in my family to help me with those forms. And so uh, when I got to campus, my schedule had been dropped, and uh, that story goes on uh, to, to talk about if it hadn't been for uh, caring faculty and staff that I probably wouldn't have been in front of them that day as a candidate for president. So uh, that sincerity I do bring to my role, always have. Uh, so for example, how that translates to policy is, uh, you know, in my current role, we now waive uh, application fees uh, in the month of October and the month of April.
and we also waive them during career nights because I know uh, for many students, uh, finding the, just the 20 bucks to, to, to uh, begin their dream in pursuit of higher ed can be an initial barrier. Seymour takes over for the retiring Dr. Laura Urban on July 1st. Urban welcomed him with a basket of goodies for his new office, one she has resided in since 2014, and one he says he hopes to be in for a long time to come. For Voice of Alexandria, I'm Joe Krakowski.